Hello, my name is Gail Martin, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to discuss today what information literacy is, why it's important, and how to find certain types of information. Okay, so this graphic um, it displays what information literacy is at a very small, it's, it's a lot bigger than this, but I think in a nutshell this will do. So when you're looking for information, you have to, first you have to be able to find it, and then evaluate it according to what your research needs are. So let's say your syllabus says you need to find a peer-reviewed article on a certain health topic. So those are the first things we're going to need to do. Find and evaluate the type of information needed. Evaluate could be, is it peer-reviewed? Do you need non-peer-reviewed? What dates you need to be careful of looking at if, if there is um, a date range that's been defined. After that, we're going to apply that information to your research along with acknowledging who wrote it and for what purpose. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to find one and go through these to these little chain links um, for the purpose of um, getting, letting you get to know what information is and helping you become more information literate. All right, so let's do one. So I'm going to go to our library main page. Here it is. Go to libraries.mercer.edu. I'm a big fan of Research Library at ProQuest. So here I am finding my information. I know what database I want. I'm going to go to the Oz. I'm going to scroll down till I find Research Library ProQuest. And here it is. I'm going to give an example here. Here I am at Research Library ProQuest. I'm just going to do a quick search for um, which athletic shoes are good for diabetes. Now somewhere in my research, I'm going to have to um, pick some limiters here. Let's see what I find right here first. Though. And click search. Okay, so I have 545 results. Let's just say my assignment says I need peer-reviewed. Here it is. Peer-reviewed and scholarly journals are different. So, so here I am peer-reviewed. Let's say here I am evaluating my research. I'm in a research database. I want peer-reviewed. I want um, a certain date. So I'm going to change this slider. to 2029. How about 2010 to 2019? I'm going to click update. So I'm evaluating my research. I am fitting it so it will conform to the task that I need to do, and that's probably a research paper. Let's just say I need to find quantitative um, studies. So I know this is good information. It is peer-reviewed, which means it was written by professionals in that field. It's quantitative type of study. I've got 42 results and limited by date range. Now this isn't what it is for every single assignment. This is me just coming up with something that's usually pretty common for your assignments at Mercer. Now I'm going to look at this and see if this information applies to what it is I'm looking for. Effectiveness of footwear. So again, it depends on your research. Okay, sanitize, athletic shoes, a lot of different topics in here. Okay, so I'm going to apply this to my research. And then I'm going to give an acknowledgement or a citation. Let's look at this. Standards of medical care and diabetes. There's a lot of good stuff in here. Let's just look at this. Who was this written by? Here we are, the British Journal of Sports Medicine. And it was written by, here are your authors. And this is a peer-reviewed scholarly journal. And here's my citation for acknowledge. Make sure you pick the right kind of citation, too. Um, mainly for the sciences is APA, but it could be different. There's a, there's a ton out there, and they're not all listed here, either. So here's APA. The big ones are APA, Chicago, and MLA, which is down here. Make sure you pick the right edition, too. 
Okay, so this is, let me go back to this graphic. Let's just end on that. Here's my acknowledgement to the citation. Um, let's go back to this graphic. So again, this video was about information literacy, how to find, evaluate, apply, and give acknowledge to information.